All right, so uh, I got the uh, Black Western Digital in there. There wasn't another way, uh, but uh, something I just don't make sense. I'm gonna let you take a look for yourself. Now, uh, these drives are ridiculous. This, let me see if I can, let's just see this a little bit better. So, there, these are the slots that I'm talking about right here. These slots don't make no damn sense. Number one, when you open it, your drive is right here. You gotta have that bitch connected. What the f I don't understand. It makes no sense. Same thing with this one. The SSD, you gotta open it. This one doesn't even close all the way. You gotta force it down for it to click. But where where do you plug in that? What? Hello? I don't know what Cooler Master was doing. Uh, dumb design. Complete dumb. Just dumb da dumb dumb dumb. <sighs> So we're going to move on to our uh, next thing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and insert the video card. Your next segment. And uh, well, that be... Alright, so uh, before we go any further graphics card wise, we need power. And um, now you see some of these have a uh, connector that's really big. And then there's like this grid pattern. Uh, make sure that you do find both of them because if you just plug in one, you're not going to power the whole motherboard. It's going to halfway power. Then you're going to be like, what the? Uh, I've done that many times. Because uh, especially I was accustomed to AMD motherboards as this is a Intel. AMD, you just had one big fat one and then Intel had these. So then when I did a switch, when I tried to power one up, I was like, what? This shit is dead. Not really. But just make sure it powers up. So I'm going to use this cord for the. Uh, there's an ATX one, a smaller one, then there's a big Wapen one. So make sure those two are connected. Alright, so the next thing we want to do after we uh, connected all our ATX uh, wires to our motherboard, uh, there's a bunch of snake wires here. Luckily, for this particular motherboard that we're working on, they are color coded. Normally it would say something like reset SW, that would be the reset switch. You would need to look down with a magnifying glass, or if you had good eyes, just look down there. I didn't have to use a magnifying glass, but you would see little small reset SW. And they all had like little jumpers, and you have to like put them in the holes corresponding. But here, uh, they've actually color coded it for. Uh, a lot of people who uh, just got too frustrated and aggravated, like, how the hell do you get that in there, you know? Uh, it's color-coded, so it's self-explanatory. I can't tell you too much more than that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get these all connected before we go ahead and put in our GTX 285. All right, so um, I went ahead and then did some cable management stuff with some zip ties so that, you know, I have a bunch of wire madness everywhere I made this big one snake thing kind of thing here um, the next thing we're gonna do is actually uh, install all the Molex uh, cords to power stuff that's what we're gonna go ahead and do alright guys this is uh, Schematic Wayne again uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up uh, put in a couple uh, SATA cords in and we're gonna put the video card in uh, this case is like a recipe of disaster uh, as you can see down here check this out this don't even make any sense at all 
Check this out. Now, I don't know if you can see that real well, but those gates right here were not put in very nicely. Uh, yeah, check it. These gates are not real designed real well. You got power coming out of these hard drives. Let me see what I let you. Oh, that may work. So you got power coming out these hard drives. As you can see, uh, power. And you can't close them. I don't know what to say. Uh, maybe I'll email Cooler Master. <laughs> And ask them who was smoking what rock when they made this because uh, it doesn't even make any sense. I mean, why don't they make something you can slide in? And someone's calling my cell phone. How disgusting. I'll call them back, whoever that was. So, anyways, uh, yeah. These uh, particulars right here, there's like all out, all balls out. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, put in our SATA cords, the blue ones, and uh, get those connected. That would be our next segment. All right, guys. So uh, I got done with these uh, cables. <laughs> you can see them uh, again. Nightmare with the with this. Uh, I'm sure there's some other solution, um, but we're just going to fucking wing it. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and install this uh, GTX 285. Uh, there are newer cards on the market now uh, that support uh, the CUDA drivers with NVIDIA. Uh, but for this build, we're going to stick with this because we know this works for show. Because uh, Mr. Cool of uh, NoFilmSchool.com said so. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Hey guys, uh, this is a big ass card. Uh, back in my day, the card would usually be about this big. Do I have a Radeon graphics card uh, around me? Somewhere? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, this sucker is humongous. I'm still looking around, see what I can compare it to. Oh. I don't know what the fuck that was, but don't worry about it. But this is a big ass card. Big. So, damn. Make sure uh, we need enough space in here. That's what I'm concerned about. Alright guys, so, uh, yeah, this is a big ass card. This is what it looks like. This thing is a monster. Wow. Well, I guess we're going to be doing monster stuff with our Hackintoshes, so that will be warranted. Let's get this thing installed. Holy shit. Big ass card. Alright guys, uh, Schematic Wayne here. Uh, we are finally done with the uh, build of this Hackintosh. Boy, there's a lot of frustration and confusion and all kinds of crazy rigmarole going on with this machine here. Um, this is a heavy, heavy machine. We got just so much stuff, so much technology that has advanced since, uh, when I remember putting socket eight computers together, uh, wow, humongous parts, I can tell you that, <laughs> humongous, and, uh, wow, we're gonna see what happens, we're gonna, uh, test this up, make sure it boots, and, uh, if we run into any problems, we'll see what happens, <laughs> so, ready, set, Launch! Alright guys, uh, Schematic Wayne here. Uh, we have a different view now. Um, as it stands, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's a bit messy. If anybody uh, has any tips or anything, please feel free and uh, help her brother out, you know what I mean? Um, but this, I don't get this. Cooler Master, I, I don't get that. Those. These aren't due to the wires being in the way. 
uh, that is due to, for some reason, uh, hard drives uh, going into those slots are just not a real good idea. I don't know what you guys did with the design, but I'm just going to have to deal with it until someone tells me, oh, you're a dumbass, you should have did this, or this needs to be done like this, or whatever the case may be. Uh, but there, yeah, there's a bunch of wires everywhere, and that card is huge. The uh, GTX 285, that's a, that's a big one. And uh, it's a good thing, too. We have a ton of fans. There's fans galore. Fan. Big-ass fan. Another big-ass fan. Big-ass fan on top. This V8 cooler. There's a big-ass fan on the front. Dang. So many big-ass fans. So, all right. So, this is uh, the complete build. If anything goes wrong, I'll get it on tape.